So welcome back to Vasavi Virtual Program. This is Satish Kumar, Faculty of Chemistry. Today we are going to discuss one important topic from Matter Lesson. And the topic is how melting is endothermic change. My dear students, melting is nothing but when solid ice convert into liquid water that is the a great definition for melting so melting nothing but the solid ice is converting into liquid water when it absorb heat energy from the surroundings so my dear children actually the solid ice looks like this in the solid ice the particles are very close to each other in this manner and when the solid ice takes the heat energy from the atmosphere automatically the solid ice convert into liquid water because with the help of heat energy in the ice in between the particles attraction forces are present these attraction forces are going to break so in the process the particles are moving away from each other in the solid ice and the solid ice will become liquid water. So in the liquid water, the particles arrangement is like this. So that is why my dear students, in melting process, the solid ice is converting into a liquid water because in the melting process, the solid ice is taking heat energy from atmosphere and the solid ice is converting into liquid water in this process in the solid ice in between the particles attraction forces are present these attraction forces are going to break and the particles in the ice going away from each other that is why the solid ice becomes liquid water so in this process in melting of ice process the solid ice is absorbing heat energy from the surroundings. So that is why in any change, in any reaction, energy is, especially heat energy is absorbed, we can call that is endothermic change. So the solid ice is converting into liquid water in the melting process by absorbing heat energy from the surroundings. That is why the melting is called endothermic change and as well as my dear students boil 